day 24 of Labyrinth to Lord Stanley. The photo is extremely laggy. I'm going to work on that and restart this computer after this video because it's unex it's inexcusable that the video, the background of this video should be this laggy because you can barely see what I'm wearing, like you can barely see the eyes. So I, I apologize for that. And but let's get to these Penguins versus Senators highlights. And 1920, Kyle Turris had a wrist shot. It was saved by Thomas Vokun. 4-1, Penguins and shots on goal through the first four minutes. Ottawa unleashing some hits in the 15-minute mark of the first period. Five minutes gone by in the first period. Both teams making line changes. This is still scoreless. Brennan Morrow catches a pass from Mark Eaton. Morrow has that power forward-like ability. Morrow scores pending a review. Looks like the skate of the may have tipped the puck in, but it wasn't an intentional kick. The goal counts. Morrow scores, and one of the best qualities about the Penguins in the first five minutes was the puck control that Pittsburgh displayed. Just passing the puck and limiting Ottawa's overall possession. 10:37. Brooks Orpic with a monster hit. Pittsburgh leads eight to two in shots on goal at that point. You have to applaud Craig Anderson for. The way he's made saves in the first period. And Sidney Crosby gets wrongly accused of hooking. Volkun makes a save when Ottawa goes on the power play. Offsides by Ottawa. Pittsburgh's PK shows up. And the Penguins still lead 1-0. That would be the score after one period. Ottawa got away with a few penalties in the second period until Ottawa got sent to the penalty box. Later in the second power play, Chris Letang and James Neal are caught gangbanging the crease. Pittsburgh goes up 2-0. Another goal that the NHL officials have to review, and Pittsburgh, Latang scores on a 4-on-4. He puts the Penguins up 3-0, 20-13 in shots on goal favoring the Penguins. Just a great overall team effort by Pittsburgh. Milan Mikulek for the Ottawa Senators. He scores, just like the time where when he scored that shorthanded goal in Game 4 against the Pittsburgh Penguins in Ottawa. Geno Malkin scores a one-on-one -on -one type goal against Craig Anderson. Malkin's goal gets the Penguins a 4-1 to -one lead. Third period, James Neal scores his second goal in the third, making it 5-1. Then Kyle Turris scores. Penguins up 5-2. Neal once again. Send in the hats. James Neal with the hat trick. And the Pittsburgh Penguins win by the final score of 6-2. to two. Pittsburgh is going to the... Eastern Conference Finals where they will host either the Boston Bruins or the New York Rangers and beating the Rangers won't be a problem if the Rangers even manage to win and come back down 3 nothing against the Bruins and Boston that's going to be a bit of a challenge I'd expect that to go seven games back and forth back and forth and I think that could go seven games because the Bruins have offense, d defense, and goaltending. Their penalty killing's better. Plus, Boston's playing for their city after the way that whole bombing went down on April 15th. So, the, these Boston fans are playing for their city. They're motivated. I think Boston will be the biggest test the Penguins have to face in the Eastern Conference. Still, you have to expect Pittsburgh to make it through. They're a heavy favorite at this point, and whoever wins at Pittsburgh versus Boston series looks like the team that's going to hoist the cup because I can't see LA repeating. I just got a feeling that either Boston or Pittsburgh will knock them off in the Stanley Cup finals and I don't know why but I just can't see Detroit winning the cup. I can't see it and the Blackhawks are down 3-1. It'd be a miracle if they came back and if they did, they deserve to win the Cup, rightfully so. But the prediction I made about the Chicago Blackhawks winning the entire Stanley Cup looks pretty bad right about now. Tomorrow, you get the New York Rangers versus Boston Bruins Game 5 at the TD Garden. And then, at 8 p.m. Eastern on NBC, the Joe Louis Juggernauts go to the United Center to face the Chicago Blackhawks, the beloved Chicago Blackhawks, according to some Chicago sports fans that shall remain nameless. And... The beloved Chicago Blackhawks versus the Joe Louis Juggernauts. It's going to be a lot of fun. The Red Wings are up 3-1 in that series. And will those Juggernauts unleash hell at the United Center tomorrow on NBC? This is Chris Ransom for Draft Utopia signing off.
Check out more information at DraftUtopia.com's Facebook page or the DraftUtopia.com podcast on TalkShoe. Good night.